PRP for hair loss. Is it worth spending your hard earned money on this treatment? Let's find out. So what is PRP? PRP is short for platelet rich plasma, which is pretty much when they draw blood from you, put it in a special collection tube, put it in a centrifuge, spin it down where the blood separates into its separate constituents, and then they'll draw the platelet rich part of your blood. They'll then take this platelet rich plasma and inject it back into your head, where it should stimulate cytokines, growth factors, and other bioactive molecules in order to grow your hair. Now remember guys, not all PRP is made the same. You need a minimum of 1.5 million platelets per mil of PRP in order for it to actually do anything. So if they're not getting that kind of yield, then the PRP is probably not working. Now there are certain patients that I generally recommend PRP for, and those are patients with traction alopecia, and telogen effluvium, it works really well for these subtypes of patients. However, if you have androgenic alopecia, I would consider PRP a tier three treatment, which goes below finasteride minoxidil and maybe red light therapy and then PRP. So PRP is not going to fix your hair. You need to stabilize your hair first. So how do you know if your clinic is doing it right? Well, it's actually very, very difficult to know. They need to be using the right collection tubes. They need to be using the right centrifuge. But the best way to know is if they actually test their platelets. So they put it through a CBC machine and they check how many platelets they get per mil. This is the only real way to know if they're doing their PRP right.